Hey Danielle, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thanks for asking. What's been going on? Well, um, last time we spoke, you know, I just got a promotion. Mm -hmm. um, it's great and, news? Right? Yeah, great news. Mm -hmm. I'm really, really excited about the opportunity um, and the career advancement, but sure. I just really, it just hit me that I'm going to be having to give presentations and really kind of be a team leader and um, kind of be the face of a, a group of individuals and it's kind of making me a little shaky. Mm, a little shaky? Yeah. Are you uh, a big fan of public speaking? Not a, I wouldn't say a big fan. No? I've, it's been bearable, mm -hmm. but um, the thought of having to do it continuously it's definitely a little frightening for me. That's frightening for you. How often would you have to do, you say continuously, how often would it be in this new job? In this new job, I would actually have to meet with them every week. you weekly? Weekly. Mm -hmm. and how many people on the team that you now supervise? There are 10 people, yeah. All right, so you have 10 people that you, you're gonna have to speak to. Yes. Right? And how long is the the talk each week? It normally averages about like half an hour. Half an hour? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Have you ever had to do it in the past or anything like it? I've done something like this for school, mm -hmm. but definitely not for 30 minutes, not for half an hour. All right, so the length of time is a major stressor. Mm -hmm. um, how about the number of people? How about the, like 10, is that? That's. That's a, I mean, when I did it for school, it was a group of us, so it was less anxiety, but mm -hmm. to be doing it by myself for, you know, and all attention on me, that's, yeah, and 10 people, that's a lot of people, you know, looking up to me and, you know. All right, so the number of people being 10, that stresses you a bit, a little anxiety there, a good amount of anxiety, and then the duration. Absolutely. Right. So ten people for a minute. That wouldn't. That's not too bad. You can handle no. that. <laughs> I can handle that. Or a half hour with like one person. I can definitely handle can that. that. One on one's not too bad. One on one's not too bad. One on one's not too bad. Um, but the thought of ten people staring at me, hanging on my every word, for that long, that's that's um, definitely puts me out there in terms of anxiety. All right. So there's a lot of anxiety there, yeah. and that's painful for you. Let's uh, let's do this. I know that you mentioned that you're taking over for somebody, but they still work there. Yes. How long do you have before you need to start taking over that responsibility? I have about six weeks. About six weeks. Mm -hmm. All right. So you have six weeks to become reasonably comfortable with speaking in front of 10 people for a half hour once a week. Mm -hmm. right. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to develop some steps that you can take at work. Okay. So I know you know you do a lot of different things at work and you mentioned that you're good with people individually. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to create some steps that you can actually conduct at work you know, collaboratively with you. I want you to be a big part of this. And I want to rank them from the least anxiety provoking to the most anxiety provoking. Okay. All right. And let's use about five levels, five steps. So, we're gonna, so I'm going to develop together with you five steps. So the fifth one will be the hardest. And I'm, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that would be speaking in front of all 10 people for a half hour. Yeah. Right, so that's the most stressful it can get. Yeah, definitely. That's the most stressful part of your job now, or what your job will be when yeah. you take that over. Definitely. All right, so let's make that, uh, if you agree, we'll make that kind of a five out of five. Okay. All right, so if five is the maximum level of anxiety. I can agree to that. Okay. Yeah. So, let me think of some other ways you can approach this. You said you're, you're really good one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. How about 
With two people, like if you're in a room with two people and you talk to them. That's not. That's not too bad. That's not. That's not too yeah. bad. That's definitely not a five out of five. No, it's definitely not a five out of five. All right. So let's make that one of the steps. How about speaking to two of the people? Okay. For a, around fifteen minutes. Make that one of the steps. Okay. And how about another step would be speaking to four people for 15 minutes. Okay. Right. Which which of those two would be would be scarier? The four people. The four people for 15 minutes. For 15 minutes. Yeah. All right. And then if we were to say four people for a half hour. Where would that rank? I would definitely say that's like a four and a half or four. Right, so that's that's higher up than yeah. the all right, so so far if we were to rank these in terms of anxiety from the least anxiety provoking. Yeah. Couple people, fifteen minutes. You think you could do that? Mm -hmm. That's right. manageable. Double that number of people to four for the same amount of time. That would be the next level up. Mm -hmm. Taking those four people and talking to them for a half hour, maybe one, one more level up. Yeah. So where would all ten people for fifteen minutes rank? Would that be more anxiety provoking than four for a half hour? Definitely. Yeah. Because of the duration, yeah. But not as anxiety provoking as ten people for a half hour. No, not no. I think that would definitely be my. That's still the top. Yeah, that's at the top. So nothing I've introduced as a step is, is, is anxiety provoking as all 10 for a half hour. Yes. So if that's a five, then a four would be 10 people for 15 minutes. And a three would be the four people for a half hour. Mm -hmm. The two would be the four people for 15 minutes and the one would be two people for 15 minutes. And and I can write all this out for you. Okay, all right. that's great. Uh, would you agree that's an accurate ranking from the most stressful, most anxiety provoking, down to the least, the least? Yeah, I would absolutely agree to that. And you'd agree that the first step, the, the least anxiety provoking, two people, yeah. the two people 15 minutes, that's not a huge deal for you? Mm -hmm. No. You think you could handle that? I can handle that. Alright. So what my hope is, is that you move into each step you conduct that step, you take part in that behavior enough times to where, even though it's a little anxiety provoking in the beginning, mm -hmm. you, you do enough times to where that anxiety comes down. Okay. So you have six weeks to get through really four of the steps because the final step will be the all ten time, people, ten for, people yeah. for, yeah. So you have six weeks to get through these four steps. Okay. So for this, let's use this first step for this next week, so I'll see you again in a week. Okay. And meet with two people, and you probably want to vary it, like two different people. Okay. Okay. Uh, each time, uh, if you didn't, they also might wonder what you're doing if you're meeting <laughs> yeah. the same people over there, right? So, but you know, make it productive, make it part of your job. You know, okay. make it ne something that's necessary for your job. Like you can see an opportunity where you have to talk. Remember, it's about 15 minutes. Okay. If it ends up being 10 or 20, you know, it's about 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, and meet with them a few times this week and I'm hoping that through this week you'll notice that your anxiety decreases. So right after the meeting, if you could just take a quick second um, and note kind of how stressed you were at the beginning, maybe a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being okay. really anxious, and how stressed you were at the end. And any thoughts you might be having in terms of like what you were thinking while it was going on, or what you're, what you're thinking afterwards. Like maybe you're, you're going to think, well, I, I handled that pretty well. Okay. Or maybe you're thinking, that was still a little stressful. Okay. Or somewhere in between. Yeah. Does that make sense? That makes completely sense to me. All right. So we're going to take this in just gradual steps. Okay. And uh, we won't move to the next level until you're somewhat comfortable with the... That's great. I really appreciate that. Right. I think, I think that'll help you to kind of transition gradually, because I think part of this for you is that all at once, yeah. like you've been promoted, this is all new, yeah. and all of a sudden ten people for a half hour, yeah. whereas if we just kind of move up the level of anxiety provoking stimuli gradually, 
you might become accustomed to it. Mm -hmm. And by the time you, you get to 10 for 15 minutes, you might think, well, 10 for a half hour is mm -hmm. not that much yeah. different. A little bit more relaxed, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to add to this, too, uh, that you're in a setting, like one of the things you might be thinking when you're presenting is you're kind of you're kind of stuck there. Mm -hmm. Like you mentioned, all eyes on you, mm -hmm. and you're in an office setting. We've talked about your workplace before, mm -hmm. where if you needed to, you could always say, "I need a minute," and you could step out. Right. So you you always have an escape plan. Okay. And you may have to use that from time to time, even when you are somewhat comfortable, later on down the road you might be having a day where you're particularly anxious. Remember you always have that plan there. Yeah. Right? Not everybody that speaks publicly has that option, or at least not that conveniently. Yeah. Right? Some public speaking, if you said I need to take a minute and leave, like if you're at a podium in front of 100 people, people might wonder what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> but with 10 people they might think, you know, no. you might have to go grab some paperwork. Yeah. Or Get a drink of water or something. Yeah. Any, something yeah, any, small. Yeah. Any variety of things. You could even put another person, you know, uh, give them something to do. Like, can you take over this part? Okay. Uh, can you discuss this or figure this mm -hmm. out? Why go and all right. So keep in that keep in mind as we as use the self talk, which we talked about before. Yes. That you can tell yourself, I can always escape. Right? And, and you do, it's actually true. You mm -hmm. can always escape and you can return to the meeting. If you if you need to, okay. and that does happen, try not to interpret that as a, a huge setback. Okay. The safety plan is there yeah. to keep you safe, to reduce the anxiety. It's, a, it's an escape plan. Yeah. So we're going to ease you into it, okay. right? And then I want you to keep in mind you have a way out, All right? And know that anxiety levels do um, change from time to time. Mm -hmm. You know, meaning you might get comfortable with one level. And the next day it might be a little more distressed with that, but the next day it might be a little better. Right. So you're not yeah. always going to see a decrease, but in general I think you, you will. I hope that you will. Okay. All right. But that's one of the reasons it's important to kind of jot down what you're thinking so we can develop some adaptive responses to try to increase the chances that you will okay. feel less anxious. I can do that. Right. So on the way out today, uh, before you set the next appointment, I'm going to jot down those levels for you. But this week, I want you to just work on step one. Okay. Two right. people for 15 minutes. Two people for 15 minutes. Okay. Because uh, we have we have time. So there's there's no you have six weeks. Yeah. Right. So if you feel ambitious, and you want to see those same and, and there's a reason to, and you want to see those same two people for a little longer, or you want to see four people, you can do that. But primarily, we're just focused on getting through step one. Okay. And seeing how the the anxiety yeah. uh, changes. We hope it decreases. Okay. Does that make sense to you? That makes sense to me. All right. So I'll get you set up with another appointment. I'll get that information jotted down. And then I'll check in with the next week and we'll see how things are going. Okay. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Danielle. Thank you.